Did you get your back blown out to CLB this weekend or what? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. There's no better music. Yeah. To get your cheeks clapped. Yeah, to get pegged. Than, the, <laughs> than that album. Yeah, that's what happened when the Drake album released. Uh, boyfriends worldwide were woken up and girlfriends had the double vinyl LP laid out mm -hmm. on a bed of rose petals with a strap on next to it. And then every boyfriend's are like, is tonight the night? She's like, yes, babe. Happy drop day. Happy CLB day. And then this is, this is what ensued. I got you. Thank you. Oh, yeah! No, no, no. No. It wasn't, that one. it wasn't that one. You're right. It was, uh, it was, uh, oh. it was no, it wasn't. It was this one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone that has ever complained about moaning on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, this is your worst nightmare. <laughs> just got a dose of real moaning. <laughs> and that wasn't even the pegging part. That was just putting the little heart in the hairline. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pegging part. <laughs> That's the pegging part. <laughs> why, do you, why are these even on here? You <clears throat> sick fucks. Happy CLB they were Day. Built into the stream deck, so. Sure, they were built into the stream deck. Sure. I yeah. can prove it to you. They're sure, in the dude. Soundboard, like library. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, it's the CLB library. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon. Mystery of the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. <laughs> So-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Did you actually listen to it though? Yeah. Um. Donda, I felt healed me. And Donda then, was amazing. I actually gave it yeah. a real shot yeah. and I loved it. Go ahead. What some, were you gonna say? No, some people were like, oh, this reminds me of like corny Christian music I grew up to. I, I can I can see that, but what CLB? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm too sexy. What kind of church did you go yeah. to? <laughs> I'm too sexy is a classic youth pastor track. <laughs> oh, that song was called You're Too Sexy. Oh, was it? Yeah, from pastors to children. Oh, right, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're too sexy for my robe, too sexy for this booth, uh, too sexy for the truth, I don't know. Nice. Something like that. I like that. Yeah, no, Donda, I felt, was like a healing experience. People said it was mid. How? I think maybe it was just like too long and too... I don't know. I think people just wanted an opinion you know like that's not an album that you just put on and listen to as homework and then have an opinion like you have to like hear that at the right time you know i i didn't listen to it i waited to listen to it until like one in the morning on a random friday night or like it wasn't even friday night, it was like during the week and then i got stuck on uh wait when did it come out last thursday the watch uh donda was it last, last thursday sunday last sunday i can't even remember last yeah. sunday morning yeah so it was Peak music time. <laughs> That's right, yeah. He knows when to drop, man. People love listening to music on Sunday mornings. You can listen to Hurricane at 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, definitely. But yeah. that's the, probably the only song. You can listen to Jay. You can listen to Hurricane actually in any any sort of occasion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I got stuck on that at like 1 in the morning in the living room. I just kept looping it. And Lena's <laughs> really? like, can we go on to the next song? I'm like, no. We're staying here. I'm just standing in the, <laughs> yeah, standing in the living room half naked just <laughs> <laughs> this was me on sunday morning <laughs> listening to hurricane like this kelsey said babe can we go to the shit 
<laughs> it say right here? What does it say? Read it. Listen to this part. Don't let me drown. What does it say? I know you won't. Uh, uh. What does it say? Currently happening. Shh. Yeah. It's my favorite part. Don't let me down. Yeah. That was me. Yeah, and then CLB came out on Thursday. Yeah, typical. <laughs> this is a little slutty time to drop. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know there's like, I think people were so angry because I think boyfriends worldwide were angry as hell because the album was just like more Drake and they're just tired of it. They've been listening to Drake for years. Mm -hmm. They've been getting punished by their significant other for years. There's probably people that got together during like his second album and now they're still together on this album and they're like, Drake, can you fucking make something else? I'm going crazy. Right. So I think that was a lot of the frustration is a lot of men weeping. World It's like Drake grief. Like they're just grieving that this is going to be the playlist in the car and if they work out together. But you don't think that because I would say the guys are equally as into it. Oh, I would say guys were more into this album. Yeah, I'm just I just mean all the rap nerds that were on like Twitter complaining and shit. Right. You know. Actually, no, they don't have girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are gonna fuck it up for the rest of the year. Yeah. Girls are gonna put that on and they're gonna be like, you know, Drake just doesn't take any risks. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be like, right. So you're not into pegging, or <laughs> but you know I agree with you. I think I think dudes are into it. Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? CLB? Yeah. No, not really. Oh, there was like two songs. Okay. I liked on it. What songs did you like? I don't know. I don't. I didn't like it enough to look at the fucking title. Got it. <laughs> no, I mean like I put the whole thing on in the car, and then a couple of songs. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I was expecting. I didn't realize it was going to be. I mean, maybe I should have. I should have guess that it was going to be like an entire album of like ballads almost yeah sex music basically. it's just like sex music mm -hmm. i should have figured it was with the cover and the title yeah but for some reason i thought it was just going to be an album of bangers and i was wrong <laughs> and instead i got banged to it yeah yeah <laughs> that's the album you suck dick to yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I listened to part of it the night it dropped, and then I wanted to listen to it again the next day in the car. And I'm trying, to, my production assistant, and I I put on like the first song. I'm like, all right, man. And I just hold out my hand, like he's got to hold my hand now. And then we're just dying laughing at dudes driving a CLV, like holding their hands beneath the window, <laughs> monkey style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the center console. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Yeah, yeah this one's dope. Um, squeezing, squeezing his hand to yeah. the beat. Yeah, um, too sexy for him. Ow, stop! <laughs> <laughs> too hard. Sorry, your hands are so clammy. <laughs> Why are you sweating, dude? <laughs> Why are you sweating, man? Are you gay? <laughs> Why are your hands sweating while you hold my hand, dude? Don't be gay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there were there were some songs on there. I'm trying to remember which ones I liked. He can ride his ass off. I, I, you know, I sort of like the Kanye beef element. I think they're just trying to ham that up. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but I do like it. <clears throat> yeah, I love make, drama. Yeah, a little between little tea. Yeah, a little tea between a list celebs like that. Mm -hmm. It's always fun because it's never direct, you know. No. Oh, well, and then oh, we we actually we do have some. Some cringe lyrics. A presentation of uh, the cringiest lyrics. I don't know why people are so mad about the I'm a lesbian girl, me too. I thought it was kind of dope. <laughs> <laughs> were you tucking your hair back? Yeah. I, was like, I mean, I was like, girl, me too. <laughs> girl, girl, you and me girl, too. Girl, me too. I was like, yeah. So am I. Yeah. <laughs> you see the look I'm going for. <laughs> All right, let's see what lyrics people are mad about. <clears throat> uh, no, that's old Drake. And, and the, the dirt that they threw on my name turned to soil and I grew up out of out it. Okay. I don't think it's that corny. That's not that bad. Nah. And also on Girl I'm a Le like I'm a lesbian girl, me too. It's like all the dudes mad about that line. That line isn't even for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, why were guys mad about that line? That's like if you went on like 
the the subreddit like the hip-hop head subreddit so many comments like did drake really just do this are you fucking kidding me bro this is so corny it's like it's not ruin my thursday yeah that's like being mad about like olivia rodrigo music like that shit ain't for you man <laughs> that song we were pretty pissed about the paramore thing i mean that's different <laughs> that's the that's thievery <laughs> you know I'm not like Bitch. I'm not mad at like what she's writing about. Yeah, know? yeah, that's true. Yeah, like yeah, it, she's like, what did she even say? Like, where's my fucking teenage dream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or like if she's you know if she wrote a song about like, you know, liking indie dudes that dress like chimney cleaners, right? And I'm like, oh man, this is so fucking corny. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not for me, right? You know, like that uh, that line to me was like Jack's, you know, uh. And, uh, and with a best friend and uh, like the threesome yeah. song I'm yeah yeah, yeah. Song. but i was like that's what that's for yeah you know it's, i'm picturing like all these nerds online be like this line is so corny and then it cuts to a drake concert <laughs> and it's just all women singing that song <laughs> and he, he's like i don't give a fuck <laughs> you're just gonna be the one dude in the crowd like this line is goofy dude you cheese ball whatever all right this one yeah talking all the shit that you done been through yeah it, okay yeah, that's the one. This line bangs. Say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Okay, next. What's next? Say you belong to the streets, but the, the streets, streets belong, belong to me. me. Yeah, that one, I, that one, I heard that one. I was a little bit like, oh, really? I mean, but yeah, really. I mean, this dude lives in an embassy. Yeah, that's true. That's like, I'm, I'm just saying, he says all this crazy stuff, and to us, it's corny, but we, <laughs> I feel like that's how regular everyone is compared to him. Like, he can say this shit and, like, he feels like it's real. Right. That's how, like, popping he is. Right. We can't relate to that at all. Yeah. Streets don't belong to you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, watch. He just goes outside. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. No, that's true. That is a good point. But, yeah, it is pretty fucking corny. Next. Why they always act like we can fix it with a meeting? All that linking up, man. I'm a see, I'm a see you when I see you. Yeah. That's a little. <laughs> I just feel like there's no punchline there. <laughs> like, yeah, they do act like that. This is just about how much Zoom meetings suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. If anything, people should relate to this from the heart. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fucking nine to fiver should be like, yes. <clears throat> That's going to be a TikTok in two weeks. <laughs> what? It'll be like the song playing with like Zoom meetings. <laughs> and then this line will come on and be like, why do they always act like, man, I'm going to see you when I see you. Yeah. Hell yeah. And record. Hell yeah. The link, li the LinkedIn community is going to go crazy on this. Oh, yeah. Guys, today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Live events are back, which means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. SeatGeek, of course, is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones. I almost bought tickets, but I couldn't make the event. But I use SeatGeek to buy tickets for everything. I mean, you know this. Everyone knows this. Uh, whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, whatever, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place, and it makes buying simple. Indeed. I mean, I'm personally very excited for uh, – oh, Nate Bergazzi. Yeah, yeah, Anaheim. I'm probably going to go to that, so – um, SeatGeek rates every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you are getting a good deal green – Dots are good deals, and red dots, of course, are overpriced. Mm -hmm. Every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee, so you can shop for tickets with confidence. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> especially you could confidently buy a ticket to one of my stand-up shows in Raleigh, North Carolina next week. Go. Also, don't worry about getting a good deal because we've got the hookup. Use the code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Visit SeatGeek.com or download the SeatGeek app today. Again, use code TMG for $20 off your first SeatGeek order at www.seatgeek.com. All right, what else we got? Standing on your own is when you realize when all the lights go out, that's when you see the real. Okay, what? What? <laughs> Hold on. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's it is CLB. I don't understand this one. Um, may, may, maybe it's like like when like the spotlights off you, you see who your real friends are, type uh, thing. Uh, yeah. The next line was realize, realize, realize. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, see in that in that way, yeah, that is pretty cheesy. I thought that second line was about like 
people jerking each other off or something. <laughs> I don't know. On paper, it's like it's hard to interpret, man. <laughs> this yeah, is kind of the lights go out, and all you hear is, yeah. <laughs> this you hear this, <laughs> babe. Do you like your strap on? <laughs> I can't believe you got my name on it. This is kind of like reading someone stand up. Like it's just <laughs> yeah, not the same yeah, at all. It's true. It's just not the same. <laughs> That'd be ahead. funny if people posted, you know, like the stand-up quote pictures yeah. where it's them on stage and then it's a quote. Yeah. They should do that with Drake. <laughs> <laughs> then we should make those. Then people just confuse it for like entrepreneurial accounts and stuff. <laughs> exactly. Like what is did Drake start like a business or something? <laughs> this is all, all over like alpha men's Instagram <laughs> yeah. accounts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Real be alpha. Real men, no sigmas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then it's just this. Yeah. And dudes are like, yo, plus plus a hundred, plus a hundred or whatever, plus one. What do you mean? Hundred hundred. Like dudes in the comments, like it's agreeing with it. Like oh yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. And no one really understands it. <laughs> Standing on your own is when you realize, man. Dude, that's so true, man. Whenever the lights go out. I hate when the lights go out and there's yeah, no real guys. See real guys. <clears throat> there's no real guys. There's no real guys. All right, next. I don't even see that. That's that line is so ambiguous. I don't even know what I just said right there. Yeah. See, this, this is this is Drake's plan. Loyalty is loyalty is priceless, and it's all I need. Can't burn a bridge just to light my way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of hallmarky. You could definitely put that on like a sunset. Yeah. Image. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else we got? And that's it. And that's the end. Damn. I love that corporate PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> and this is why I think CLB is the best album yeah, yeah. <laughs> of 2021. Thank you for watching my presentation. Yeah, that. I mean, I get that it was a template, but that looked pretty finance. <laughs> I could have sworn a graph was coming up next. <laughs> Just starting your finance project with, when the lights go out, that's when you see the real guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at these earnings. <laughs> it's I'm picturing like a graph, you know, kind of like a bar graph or something like that. And it's sexiest sexiest times to release music. Uh, and Sunday morning, yeah, very low. Yeah, Thursday night, extremely high. Yes, extremely peggable. <laughs> Peg Most peggable times to release music. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Hold on, I just thought of a really awful bar. What is it? Wait a second. All right, we can start the episode now. <laughs> I got my line ready. Finished. I'm caffeinated. <clears throat> you would have sworn I was married with children the way I Peggy Bundy's. <laughs> yep. Pegging buns. <laughs> Peggy Bundy. You never watched Who's Peggy Bundy. Oh, you're you're is you're that Ted Bundy's wife? Yeah. No, not... T no, fucking... You never saw Married with Children, huh? No. Yeah. What yeah. is that? It's like... It's an it's a old show. <clears throat> Pe you know Peggy Bundy, man. No, who is that? Oh, bruh. She's kind of a baddie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we'll give it two weeks. Cody's gonna come to... The sh <laughs> He's gonna come to the ship and be like... Damn, Married with Children is a good ass show. <laughs> <laughs> that shit bangs, actually. <laughs> Whatever. All the, uh, all you know, all my Midwesterners will hear that shit and go, oh, and throw up because that was Your awful. Bar. Yeah, it was so bad. Um, I was, uh, I was too busy watching the Demilio show this week, so I, <laughs> so I couldn't tune in to anything else. Now. Did you dye your hair black for the show, like uh, to celebrate? Yeah, or like you know, is, it was like one of those things where, you know, like when Game of Thrones would happen and people would put on like, you know, like old laundry with a shield and be like, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, was it like that? Would yeah, did yeah, you like was, dye your hair? Yeah, it was a pretty anticipated premiere for sure. Yeah, I think for a lot of people. <laughs> I no, I actually didn't watch it, so I don't know. I can't really comment Let's... on whether or not it's good. But here, play this clip real fast. I mean, no, pause it, pause it, pause it. <laughs> Music. I'm guessing we might get copyrighted for that one. 
Who knows? It's crazy that they have a show on Hulu. Hot take. It's going to work. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, man. The average person doesn't consume TikTok. Like, you know, I know everyone listening is extremely online. Right. You're you're chronically online, mm-hmm. but most of the world is not. So they just kind of know her as like some popular girl from the internet. And then they'll go on Hulu and she's like, oh, I guess she has her own show. And they'll just start watching and then they're going to fall in love with other aspects. Like, oh, their family's so cute. And oh, it's so crazy to watch her grow up. And I think it's going to work. Yeah, I mean, I guess people watch family vlogs and get obsessed with them. And those are so boring. Yeah. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Now with a little bit of drama. Ooh. Yeah, I guess. Ooh. I was listening to uh, Tim Dillon talk about it. And he was just like, there's nothing... There's no nothing that you want to see behind the scenes of TikTok. Yeah. Like, nothing happens. Yeah. You know, you don't watch a TikTok and you're like, wait, well, how do they how do they do this? <laughs> what went through their mind right before they did this, you know? <laughs> um no, no, that's what I And want he was to. like, he was like, I was watching an old episode of the Kardashians. And he's like, in one episode, the mom the mom was their manager. I had no idea. Chris Jenner Chris, Chris Jenner managed. Oh, bro. That's why they called her momager. And now I yeah. I'm piecing it all together now but like that's insane and one episode she basically was like kim was like shopping around like talking to different people and her sisters were like <clears throat> snitching on her to the mom mm-hmm. that she was trying to find a new manager <laughs> it's like that's some fucking drama yeah Re- yeah that's real shit and you know chris jenner i mean she's really good at what she does i mean she got moderna and pfizer popping what oh she manages everything dude any, mm-hmm. Anything that you want, like, that's popular, Chris Jenner. That's why AstraZeneca. Like yeah. Really? That's why AstraZeneca hit the shitter because she was managing AstraZeneca first. And then Big Pharma was like, whoever made it was like, I think we're going to go with someone else. Chris Jenner's like, this is a fucking mistake. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, you know, we're good. They're still big in Europe, though. Yeah, but. So she's playing that card. Yeah, but she doesn't She doesn't manage overseas talent. Mm-hmm. So I'm joking. But. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> But that's why, you know, that's how she got everyone to do free brand deals for Moderna and Pfizer. And they didn't even know it. <laughs> Everyone's promoting it after they got their shot. Oh, yeah. That's all. So she's Jenner's a mastermind. Mind. Absolute mastermind. Wow. Guys, we're going to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Bird Dogs. Now, what are Bird Dogs? Well, they're shorts, pants, and joggers with built-in silky soft underwear. Uh, and it's, you know, that's one of the most comfortable things I've ever even put close to Dude. my taint. And I'm very particular what goes close to my tank yeah this is not a bit listen these are actually garments with built-in underwear why is built-in underwear better you know when you haven't done laundry and you're running out the door and you're like oh if i could only put my pants on and start my life well you don't have to worry about that because when the underwear is built in bam it's a twofer you got them both you know they actually stole lululemon's designer and you know they they allege that they're doing it better than lululemon So uh, apparently these are literally the only pants you should be wearing. Uh, (laughs) The joggers just came out and they're selling fast. So you got to get them while you can. Listen, this is one of the best podcast promos we've ever had. That's their words, not mine. (laughs) Go to birddogs.com, enter promo code TMG, and they'll throw in a free bird dogs whistle football. You remember those Nerf Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them? It's that. The must-have beach toy for the summer. That's birddogs.com, promo code TMG, and boom, a free bird dogs football with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off, I promise you. Go to birddogs.com, use the promo code TMG. Yeah, that's true. The Demilias don't have that. Yeah, there's no like no. real drama besides, um, what was it, the clip of Dixie crying? <laughs> I saw that on TikTok. I didn't see that. She's like, like crying her eyes out because someone told her to kill herself online or something like that. <laughs> And like the TikTok was like, the TikTok was like, yeah, I really, I also feel bad for her. Like, I want to cry when I'm watching this. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Just play Call of Duty, man. What? Play Call of Duty. Yeah. There's so many ways to like, like, you know, callous your mental appetite right. for the way people talk to you. Right. Um, You know, you can tell that to them back. Yeah. Can you imagine if Dixie D'Amelio responded to that person and be like, you first, kill yourself. You first. <laughs> yeah, but she can't do that. But can she? <laughs> no, Maybe. She can't. She can't. That, 
It's pretty messed up. I just, sorry, I just thought of her dad <laughs> every time they're filming him. <laughs> What's her dad's name? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Bruce? Yeah. Br Bruce Demilio. <laughs> Bruce Demilio. <laughs> That's what we call him. Yeah, Bruce. Every time they film him, he's just like, wildly paranoid of proving that he's not spending their money <laughs> bruce what are you doing not i, I wasn't i wasn't <laughs> college fund it's going to build their I college fund we we didn't ask i just finished transferring some money to their college fund <laughs> <laughs> this is the third episode in a row you've contributed to their college fund i know you i just know to make it well they're going to go to college at some point at some point and i'm gonna pay for it well they're paying for it it's their money <laughs> pulls up in a brand new lamborghini <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Bruce, it's for college. It's for college. How are they going to get to college? Okay, I'm just making sure it's good. I'm not I'm not going to drive it. I'm not. It's like a 10-year-old fucking with <laughs> his parents shit. <laughs> trying to trying to get them into brand deals for like way more money. <laughs> They go to they go to Mastro's to eat. And at the, at the end of the meal he goes, "I just want to thank Dixie and Charlie for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> just want to let you all know how much I appreciate what you do for us. You know, you didn't have to pay for this dinner, but I'm really glad you did. <laughs> They're like, Dad, we didn't. What do you mean? I don't even know the pin number to my bank account. <laughs> Bruce, do we have a second address? <laughs> it's a college house. It's a it's a house for them to think about college. <laughs> Dad, <clears throat> Dad, I'd like to buy a new pair of shoes. Yeah, of totally. course. The cameras are on. You can buy whatever you want. You don't have to. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if you want my opinion on the shoes, then I'm there for you. Fashion wise, you know. Oh, camera, I don't camera know turns you... off. Here's, here's fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah. Go to pay less. No, no, he, he, no, he, he lets him get the, he lets him get the dope ass shoes, but he's also in Gucci. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, in like yeah, his yeah, yeah. regular ass <laughs> dad clothes and like those fucking like you know those Velcro strapped, <laughs> yeah. super bedazzled shoes. He's like, what? <laughs> what? She, she said I look good in them. I, I, oh, my daughter can't buy me a pair of shoes. <laughs> what? Dad can't look cool too? What? Come oh, on. Oh, that's a, you know that's ageist. Yeah, you know that's ageism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like I picture <laughs> picture like Dixie in line you know she's got like maybe a bag or something like that and the camera like pulls focus on the dad behind him he's got like 16 shirts yeah. <laughs> four blazers three pairs of shoes what what oh I can't do a little shopping too my daughter can't buy me some clothes these are for her graduation ceremony <laughs> yeah, I'm from gonna when she graduates from college I'm gonna need options <laughs> I just want to thank Dixie and Charlie for taking us shopping today. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, you have to do five TikToks today, by the way, girls. Yeah. I've signed you up for 14 brand deals. Two brand deals per TikTok, okay? And we had a little bonus. Dog, I bet you they could charge mid-rolls on TikToks. It could be a minute long dance and like 20 seconds in. Hi, just want to take a break to yeah. thank, <laughs> you know, whoever. <laughs> it goes back to the next 20 seconds. And then, hi, guys, before we get to the end of this dance, we just want to give a quick thanks to Casper Mattresses. <laughs> yeah. And then they do 19 seconds. And right before they hit the fucking like penultimate, like, like, whoa, or some shit, one more, one more read for the go. What would be the funniest companies? Um, that they can <laughs> promote Blue Chew. <laughs> no, 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 you asked. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie, and I'm here to stop. Promote. Stop, dude. No. <laughs> oh, what? Dad can't have a little fun. <laughs> no, it's, hi, I'm Bruce, and I'm here to promote. <laughs> It's fucking Bruce. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Bruce Disney. D'Amelio here. Here to say that my favorite whiskey is Howler Head whiskey. <laughs> hey, I just want to take a second to interrupt my daughter's really cool dance and say thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring this TikTok. 
You know, you know, you know, Mrs. D'Amelio loves it when I take the blue chew. I, oh, man. Dick harder than raw pasta, let me tell you. Store-bought pasta, you know. <laughs> Only difference is mine doesn't break. <laughs> Holy oh, what, that can't have a little sex? Huh? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like Dixie, she's about to do a little dance and then hey guys sorry to interrupt just want to take a moment to say thank you horny goat weed for, it's, it's like gas station pills and absolute degenerate <laughs> shit <laughs> you, 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 all you do is take a mouthful of this stuff <laughs> and watch this thing rise <laughs> are you trying to lose a couple pounds <laughs> what was that fucking weight loss shit that Fit Tummy T? No, it wasn't Fit Tummy. The old one that like, uh, what was her name? That model, remember that? That, uh, or something? that damn, that you know model. Kind of like Paris Hilton esque, Ashley something. Regis Philbin. No, <laughs> sorry, no, he's he's dead. She she oh, oh Slim Fast was that it? Yeah, maybe was that the weight loss product? I don't know. It John was like Carson. basically meth. Sorry, I was just trying Which to think one? of the model. Johnny Carson? Paul Walker? Oh, damn. Don't talk about Paul, dude. Oh, yo, by the way, speaking of that, I hung out with Vinny like all weekend. Oh, where? <laughs> At my place. He was just there? Yeah, he came over. He was like friend of a friend. She was like, I'm bringing my friends over. I was like, okay, cool. And he shows up and I'm like, what the fuck? And then he showed up again the next night. Weird. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yo, yeah, Vinny's the best. Yeah, I love shout him. out to Vinny. Vinny Bennett, man. Yeah, him and his like... She, I don't know. She was friends with like multiple actors. They're just like too cool, you know? Oh, yeah. No, Vinny, Vinny's cool as shit. He doesn't have to say much. He's just a cool guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I love how Vinny could just vibe in the yeah. corner. He's just there. Yeah, it was fun. <clears throat> anyway. Anyways. Uh, um, what the hell are we <clears throat> talking about? Bruce D'Amelio. <laughs> <laughs> no, the model. Slim mm -hmm. Fast. Were you Googling it just now? It was like late '90s, maybe. Ashley Madison? No, that's a. That's a. That's the cheating website. Yeah. Ashley. Oh, that's yeah. No, nah, that's not website. Work. Ashley's. Nicole, Aniston. What? Jennifer Aniston. No. Are you thinking of? Uh... She was always promoting that weight loss product. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. I'm gonna find it after. <clears throat> I'll keep looking. If I find it, I'll let you know. Okay. Anyways, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Coinbase. Listen, yeah. uh, if you've been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. Why not think about cryptocurrency? Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. Yeah, Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everyone. They offer portfolio management and protection learning resources in a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place while you take a big fat dump. Millions of people in over 100 countries trust Coinbase with their digital assets. Whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with Coinbase. And for a limited time, new users can get $5 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at Coinbase.com slash TMG. Sign up at Coinbase.com slash TMG for $5 free in Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's Coinbase.com slash TMG. <clears throat> so, yeah, what else is up? Just hanging out with Bruce this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Bruce. We're actually talking about the show. Yeah. I'm excited for him, man. It's a huge break for him. Or, I mean, his daughters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude's cake and uh, for his daughters. For his daughter. His daughters yeah. are caking. Yeah. He's helping them cake up. Yeah. Yeah. Def. In a monetary way, not in, in another way. Yeah, we yeah. don't. we don't actually, we've never been able to use the bank accounts we don't have access to them at all because you know they spend it all on sh shoes and notebooks you know how girls are <laughs> right and when they go to college they can get the rest they can get it <laughs> now i want to watch the show and yeah. become a stan yeah yeah i, I just want to watch one episode and be like all right what's going on here 
what is actually happening here? And then, you know, do some research and see if we love it. Stop being haters. Yeah, we're not being haters. I'm joking. Little, little, little sarcasm. Okay, fair. Because, you know. Because of the two episodes ago? Yeah. Man, we got so many comments of people being like, you guys are just boomers. Haters. This whole episode was just hating. Not really. I don't think it was. I don't think we were hating anything. I mean, I think we were hating the fight. Yeah. And also hating on modern entertainment. But that's fine. Yeah, the, that's the crazy part is like, you know, so, uh, someone tweeted this at me and, you know, I feel for those people that, you know, it's just, it's really unfortunate. There's like literally no way to stop a YouTube video once you're watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that person. It's it's just so unfortunate. Once you hit play, you have to listen to that's what I'm saying. It's our everything bad. that happens. It's our bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but then we made up for it the next episode. Actually, that was the funniest comment as someone said on the next one. They said uh, they just saw the bonus title and they were like, oh, is this because you guys kind of fucked us on the free episode this week? <laughs> it's like, nah. How did we kind of fuck you? How is that? Yeah, it was, it was a light fucking, but also we just recorded really early. So in that respect, I, I will concede that we were boomer-esque because we, we were a bit, it was, it was a little cranky. It was a cranky app, but. A cranky app. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cranky. A little cranky up. <clears throat> the only thing I think I really am curious about, you know, because people are like, oh, Jake took a million out and gave it to the fighters. I was like, a million ain't shit to that guy. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. I was also thinking about that this weekend. And I was like, he definitely made some deal that got him more on the back end. Yeah. Like, it. I don't think... Yeah. He would ever do that out of the goodness of his own heart. No, you know what I'm it's all a campaign. Like, it's like, I just, I, I just kind of shook my head because I'm like, yeah, you fell for it. <clears throat> the whole thing is a campaign, you know, if someone is like, someone said that he's causing like boxing organizations to rethink how they pay fighters. No, they're, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. They're rethinking how much to pay YouTube fighters. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, you know. In order for those fighters to get paid like that ever again, they're going to have to be on a Jake Paul card. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and if you don't think that headline made more people buy the fight, that's the whole point of that. Yeah. Is, oh, the fighter's getting paid more. I'm going to buy it now. Yeah. And then he gets more on the back end. Yeah. Because he's not taking as much up front, which is what you want. Yeah. Which is what, like, people, you know. I don't, yeah. He don't, wants you to think that. Yeah, that's the main thing you know? that, you know, and it's, it's it's no one's, like, fault. Like, it's, like, it it is not common knowledge that, you know, there's, like, <laughs> <clears throat> there's minimum guarantees but then there is back end and i don't think people realize that for all these events you know and so <laughs> it's all uh you know whatever he got his money you know i just i think out of all the things people took issue with i just think the craziest one to me was to actually believe fighting organizations are going to pay their fighters different <laughs> after that fight no yeah nah <clears throat> they let those guys get brain damage for like, you know, <laughs> like entry level salaries. And it's like, dude, in 20 years, we'll, we'll give you a good check. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. And then suddenly it's like, oh, but Jake Paul said we, <laughs> what were we thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he, he did what? Out of the goodness of his own heart? He gave a million bucks out? Wow. No, that's actually what Guys, it is. maybe we should be rethinking how we pay <laughs> no. our fighters. They re the fucking all the boxing orgs hear about it. They're like, "Wait, that guy gave a million dollars to the other fighters? Wow, fucking fuck idiot! idiot. What a dumbass! <laughs> oh wait, what's that? Oh, we got more on the back end. Oh yeah, smart, oh, smart, okay, yeah, smart. smart. Okay, now we're talking about the okay. Oh, for the headlines. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what that shit's gonna. Fellas, be. we should rethink. Yeah, how we you know pay our fighters up front. We're going to be paying our fighters up front more money. More. <laughs> yeah, so I got my check and somehow it was less. Yeah, so you didn't read that. It would have been this if you took the back end, but. But now you got more money up front, so. How's that feel? <laughs> Shit is dark, man. Yeah. I mean, on a more positive fighting note, yeah. Patty the Batty. I think my new favorite fighting personality. Do you see this guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. so fucking funny. Yeah, play this. this is what did I tell you? 
First round, not house, there's level. Oh, house. You know, a lot of people predicted the UFC turning into wrestling. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Light work. Light work. Light work. How do you like me now? <laughs> yeah, you could cut this. First round, knock out. Yeah, he said he was going to put Dana White in a headlock. By the way, someone sent me Dana White's story today of his dog licking his fucking bright red head, and it's the funniest shit ever. Can you pull that up? Yeah, if we can get to his story, I, I couldn't link it. I probably should have screen recorded it. No, this, <clears> guy's, this guy's hilarious. I was on his page or his Instagram page or something like that, just watching like other interviews with him and shit like that. He's yeah. so naturally funny. Yeah, Patty Pimlet, man. So absurd. Yeah, everyone thought like you you know for a while i shouldn't say thought for a while people have compared ufc to like turning into wwe and i think people have thought of it or i'd see people put forward theories like oh man this shit has to be scripted or this shit has to be planned yo we have play this fuck what i'm about to say this is so funny <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoops. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> fucking dog thinks, thinks it's a tomato or something. Bro, yeah, someone was like, I bet that dog thought it was steak. That shit is so red, dude. <laughs> Why is his head so red? The roids, maybe? Yeah, maybe. When you make that much money, like, everything pisses you off. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to a certain amount of rich, everything makes you angry. Yeah, I guess that's true. <clears throat> you're not, you're not a nice guy anymore. Yeah, that like that's where Bezos is going. Yeah, his head like his head's getting bigger. The more work getting done, his laugh is getting bigger. Give it two years, he's gonna be as red as Dana. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that the, I can't believe Dana's got that little ass fucking. I dog. know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah, and his. Big ass fucking body. That guy's really built like, um, like a, I don't even know, like a giant water bug or something. Like, mm -hmm. I can't even think of anything with forearms that big, besides like a like a Pokemon or something. I don't know why I study Dana's physique so much. But <laughs> the dude is huge. Yo, speaking of, uh, three episodes in a row of the Pauls. I know. It's like, I don't want to talk about them anymore. I don't. Yeah. And every single time. The crypto scams is just, you know, you know, and, and actually the Steph Curry tweet being like, oh, I'm new to crypto. Like, what should I get into? It's so cool that once you hit a certain level, level of celebrity, everyone just wants to try to make you more money. I know. Wait, pull up the, <laughs> pull up the Reese Witherspoon one too. <laughs> but click on the Steph Curry one. <clears throat> hey, Steph, we know you have... 50 million dollars no see oh yeah okay I, I see just getting started in the crypto game okay y'all got any advice wait what's the top reply <laughs> this has got to be the buy telcoin buy telcoin 50 hours of homework <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> gary B, on man. time gary <laughs> on time gary he's like well you should, first off you should cut off your own deal. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh. Steph, I want you to picture your family in a cement mixer. <laughs> Steph, I'd like you to give yourself paper cuts between your toes, all right? <laughs> Imagine we took all your dogs and we put them in a small cement mixer. <laughs> You're the dink doink. <laughs> what else we got, Marcus? See, I Brownlee. thought, okay, I thought that this tweet meant like I'm just getting started on my own crypto game. Yeah. Because he bought an NFT, so I thought he's like, he's like now in the Board Ape Yacht Club, so I thought he was kind of like tuned in on what's mm. been going on. So I thought he was pulling a Logan, because oh, Logan's oh. new thing is Crypto Zoo, which is an NFT game, but the game hasn't been released yet. And it's got Adobe stock <laughs> images. Yeah, so he tweeted and he was like, hey, I've been waiting for this moment for seven months. Like, my crypto game is <clears throat> finally here. And it's not. Yeah. First of all. And second of all, it's like, Apparently that's seven months of development and all they did is take stock animals, stock images of animals, sorry, and Photoshop them to be part another animal. What's even better is it's Adobe stock. 
So you get all that stuff with a monthly fee. So nope. Oh, so, so you can just find that shit in Photoshop? Yeah. It's not even like he like <laughs> went and paid for individual uses on that. He's got like his editor has like a $50 a month creative cloud <laughs> add-on <laughs> subscription. And in Photoshop, oh my God. he just takes these images that are readily of it. Like it is hysterical that anyone thinks this dude is a nice guy. <laughs> like, And he made one point. Bajillion. $9 million, I think, on this? Yeah, $1.9 million. In one day. Like on, on Monday or something like that. Selling you stock images. You're a clown. Like, you're a clown if you if you think... It's just like... It's, it's baffling. <laughs> how does nobody see that this is just robbery? Yeah, that dink don't It's right, like... Oh, his other NFT project with all the, you know, Super Saiyan cards. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just rinsing his people, man. You know what it is, dude? He, him, Logan Paul is just Fortnite. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. Just selling skins and bogus shit. And it's all these like 10 year olds who are just like swiping their parents' card. Yeah, I see. That's crazy. He's got 11 year olds learning how to use MetaMask. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, can you make a Coinbase account? I want to buy this stock. What the fuck is Coinbase? <laughs> I want to buy this stock image from Adobe. <laughs> I want to buy this. I wonder if this is Adobe stock from LoganPaul.com. Yeah, it costs four thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is four thousand uh, dollars? No, it's not, Dad. Okay, it's one ETH. Okay, I don't know what U.S. dollars are. Oh my god, dude! So funny. Like one of these kids grows up, and in twenty years he becomes a designer. Yeah, and he's searching Adobe stock because Adobe doesn't update worth shit. Yeah, you know, over twenty years, yeah. and he's gonna type in penguin, and he's gonna be like, wait, <laughs> wait a second. Hold on, I recognize that. <laughs> and he's gonna have an existential crisis. I really burned my co my dad's college savings for me to buy this fucking picture with a long nose. <laughs> it's crypto, dude. Dude, it's fun. It's not a panda. <laughs> it's an elephanta. <laughs> it's not a penguin. It's a sh uh, <laughs> shanguin. Shark penguin. <laughs> shanguin. It's a park. Yeah, it's a park. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, Hello you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips <clears> to the grocery <throat> store and count skip on HelloFresh to make... What did I say? I said skip, didn't I? I said skip them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just ad-libbing. Ad I'm sorry. Okay. Skip trips to the grocery store. Skip them. Yep. And count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Low money. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Number one. Also, HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips with less prep. Relax. Less effort. Nah. And minimal cleanup. None. So you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. Half an hour. HelloFresh's calorie smart options make it easier to enjoy tasty lower calorie meals this summer without scouring the grocery store for ingredients and the web for easy recipes. Get healthy. I love HelloFresh. You guys know I love that bop. Mm-hmm. You know I love that. <laughs> We made a good like veggie bowl the other night, you know, it just comes in the mail and we cook it and it's great. One and done. So if that piques your curiosity, go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat14 and use code TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals plus shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat, the numbers one and four and code TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Uh, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I just think like I know that like him and his boys all sit together and they're like, dude, there's so much money to be made on crypto right now. Yeah. And we are the ones making it, dude. We are taking advantage. And everyone that hates on it isn't just isn't taking advantage of the money that could be made. Yeah. It's essentially the same thing as being like, yo, our fans have like money. We could just beat the shit out of them on the street and take yeah. it. Yeah. Like, why are we doing that? Yeah. There's a lot of money to be made by just stealing it. Yeah. <laughs> there's a ton of money like in banks and stuff. <laughs> Oh, man. And then you have, like, that weird facet of his fan base that won't buy it, but will be like, it's up to them to buy it. I didn't buy any. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and that's just like... Crypto it's a, zoo, baby. And to be, Pull it up on OpenSea real fast. And to be fair, you know, when they, if they were to sit in a room and be like, oh, they're not taking advantage. They're right. They're right. We aren't... No one else is taking advantage of anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what you guys are doing. Yeah. You're taking advantage of people. 
crypto <clears throat> or just google crypto zoo and see where the marketplace is or where wherever you can mint these things i just think you know it's a uh, it's just more bizarro world stuff like who who would ever thought that you know the the t the two dudes from vine would grow up to do <laughs> modern penny stocks <laughs> Like, <laughs> okay, so they haven't hatched yet. Yeah. No, but go back, like, fucking, like, <laughs> blow up that picture of the fucking panda cat. <laughs> like a fucking elephant with butterfly ears? Are you kidding me? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this looks like, oh my God, this looks Yo, like an acid trip. Yeah, what is the one in the middle? This looks like one of those pictures on Twitter where it, like, has no depth perception. Yeah. It's like a room with like things in it. You're like what is <laughs> what is this? Is it is that a chair? Is that a fucking cockroach? People ask me what it's like to be on shrooms. It's like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that fucking cat canda, cat panda. <laughs> that is thing honestly, I got to be honest, it's cute as hell. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's cute as hell, dude. It looks it looks like one of those books from Urban Outfitters that's like that you put like your finger into and it's like the tiny book about the penis or something like you know what I'm talking about? No. It's like, it has like a little like sock puppet in the middle that you put your two fingers through and it's like you have to like read a story. <laughs> yeah, ni niche ref, sorry. Yo, what is that? What you know, is that? You know what this looks like? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, the one on the far right? Yeah, that <laughs> pug. What is that, dude? The pug duck? It this looks like a really bad like gas station calendar yeah you know yeah. like you're on a road trip and you stop at some random gas station yeah in, like oklahoma yeah and you walk in and the calendar's from 2018 yeah and it's like funny animals and you're yeah. like i'll buy this for someone for christmas maybe and the sad part is one of you bozos is gonna look at this and go well i mean he does have a big audience maybe if i just get in now and i can sell just like really quickly i could make a little money on this <laughs> you will not you might, you know. I make a little bit. <laughs> the fucking pug chick. Yeah, pug chick. Pug duck. <laughs> yeah, what is that? What the fuck? Who would ever even think about combining those two animals? It's just hilariously lazy. Oh yeah. Fucking I wanna buy ten. How much are they? Can we scroll? Or zero point three right now. Oh yeah, it says it right there. So you'd be crazy not to get in right now. Yeah, you'd be crazy not to spend. Uh, what's what's Ethereum at as of now? Oh, it's down ten percent today, man. There's like a mini crypto crash today. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but Bitcoin Wait, too down ten percent. Cri uh, crypto is crashing. Surprise. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. It it just goes back because up. of crypto zoo. That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like we got to get out yeah. of this institutions. And everything. Are like, oh fuck! This is a bad sign. Dude, it's 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 only a thousand dollars right now. What for, for? And you potentially might get the pug duck. <laughs> Can you imagine how rare that thing's gonna be? Yeah, the pug duck. Yeah. Oh, dude, no one's gonna have that. Yeah. Can you imagine in ten years when you can show your friends in VR? I have the Logan Paul pug duck. They're gonna go, oh fuck, I wanted that one. You have the puck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. What? I was thinking, how do you combine the two? You have Doug. <laughs> you have Doug? Doug the Milio? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have- yeah, well, We call him Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Doug's his brother. No, Doug's the mom. Mm. Dude, you have <laughs> Dupug? It's Bruce and Doug. The pug? The pug. You have the pug? You have, you have Puguck? <laughs> <laughs> you have the Puguck? <laughs> Wait, you got the Puguckuck 9000? You got the Logan Paul Puguck? Puguck? <laughs> <sighs> Babe, I seriously, I'm having existential crisis right now. We need to leave this party. This guy's the Puguck and like that's what, what did I tell you, babe? I want the Puguck. That's what people are gonna be saying in ten years. You know, it's fucked up, man. I was right there, dude. I could have had the Puguck for a thousand dollars. Now look at it. At it. It's worth a bajillion Logan coins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's worth a bajillion dink doink. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> so yeah, guys, TMG coin coming in the way. You know, we got We're a new crypto something. game coming. We got an NFT game. Coming. We're gonna do something, and yeah. it's gonna be worse than all of these projects. Yeah, we should just take 
like parody images of great art and sell that. Yeah. You know, like the moaning Lisa. <laughs> and, just, and it's her just like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah hit it. Oh, I got two going at the same time now. <laughs> this is the this is the serum that turns it into the CLV moaning Lisa. <laughs> this is the Picasso Pagusso. Keep going. <laughs> P- um, Picasso Pis- um, Piscordo? Is that what you were about to say? Piscordo, it could be. Uh, Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> yeah. What else? Moaning Lisa. <laughs> Moaning Lisa. Van Gogh to the polls. <laughs> Van go to the polls. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I can't wait. How about the Salvador Daldiz? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I mean, that's why people listen to this podcast. Yeah. Um, Faps and Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> They're Jackson Pollock paintings, but it's all come. Yeah, it's just Jackson Pollock. Yeah. <laughs> Get the Faps and Pollock. <laughs> the Faps and Pollock rendition of the Paguck. <laughs> that no, that should that should what be what we do. We just copy and paste this old shit and we just call it Crypto Zoo 2. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Yo, this is the sequel to Crypto Zoo. <laughs> Floor price. We upgraded is, it. Yeah, it's upgraded. This one's way better. And the floor price is point two nine. Yeah, Just yeah. So get it now. You might get the Puguck too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pug with a duck bill. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking beak. God damn it, man. <clears throat> you know, we're just we just don't see the potential. That's all it is. We should make. <laughs> we should make this, but all the pictures or gifs yeah or their svgs whatever one like has sound oh yeah little movies and all the animals are going kill me (laughs) kill me (laughs) i'm in so much pain kill me (laughs) she's just oh these are cute you hover over Ah! why (laughs) we release a serum and it just kills the animal and you get a second NFT of the animal just scarred with acid and dead and decaying. You're like, whoa, kind of dark. It's Crypto Zoo too. Yeah. No! <laughs> Fucking hell. Buy NFTs of your favorite TikTokers. <laughs> it's Taylor Holder and Josh Richards combined. Yeah. Just <laughs> down the middle, stitched together. <laughs> Fucking brain glued together. Both of them fighting for a majority of the brain. Get him out of me! <laughs> Why do I hear his thoughts in my head? <laughs> Josh on one side. I don't want to be a boxer. <laughs> it hurts. So the F1 race was this weekend. <laughs> How was that? It sucked ass, honestly. Yeah, yeah it was like a, it's just like a little merry-go-round. Track wasn't good for passing. Oh, but Lewis's teammate, he's leaving. Wait, Kimmy is retiring? Yeah, he, I just that off. sweet talking point, dude. He is. <laughs> Kimmy Raikkonen, man. One of the funniest dudes on the grid. Uh, He's like, Kimmy is sort of like what I'd imagine... This is the type of comedy we aspire to achieve. Like whenever they interview him, they'll be like, Kimmy, where do you think like the car could be improved? And he'll be like, it could go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So yeah. he's kind of like Patty the Batty. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but a, a, a much more uh, mellowed out version. <clears throat> like, Did you see the interview with Patty where he's like, the host is, or the interviewer is like, so like, who do you think... Who do you want to call out? Do you want to call out to anyone? And he's like, um, just Instagram. Give me my fucking account back. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. <laughs> it was very funny. Of course. Yeah, that dude is going to be major just off of his haircut. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. And all the all, all the comments <laughs> were like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with his hair? What's his? It's like, no. Just the fact that you're commenting on this means it's good. 
it's actually, means it's going to work to his advantage. Yeah. It's actually like interesting you bring that up because I feel that MMA fans probably over the next five years are going to gradually become alienated from the sport because I feel like more dudes like Patty are going to show up. Like Sean O'Malley, like you know who Sean O'Malley is because yeah. of like his 6'9 hair and his like crazy yeah. presentation. Like that's what's going to get people to tune into MMA. Yeah. And it's not, it's not going to be being a great fighter. Yeah. Like, it, like Izzy sells, but this shit, Izzy do not hit headlines like this. He yeah. has to like murder someone. Yeah. But this is all the time. And so. you can tell how, because they're putting him in a bunch <clears throat> of shit now. Yeah. I don't even think he's that good. No, I mean, he's, he's solid. But I'm saying, yeah, I know. But like, I'm saying like, it almost seems to me as like an outsider kind of, you know, I semi watch fighting, but like yeah. to me, it's like, oh, this guy's the next up and comer. Yeah. And I think yeah. they're pitching him like that because they're like, Def. he's a personality. Definitely. Play that. So who would the man like to challenge then next? Anyone who wants it. Um, I'm not really calling anyone out. The only thing I want to call out the company, Instagram. Give me the account back. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> back. Give me a account back. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so who's going to take Kimmy's place? So Lewis's teammate Valtteri is leaving after like five years. And um, so he's going to go to Alpha. And then <clears throat> there's a young kid who's on the worst team, Williams, currently. They used to be a good team. He's going to take his place at uh, Merce- uh, Valtteri's place at Mercedes. So mm-hmm. everyone's kind of like, oh, shit, because George, the young kid, is like super good driver hmm. he takes the shittiest car and he makes it do things that he just he knows how to work a car he makes that thing do things that you wish you could do <laughs> he makes that car scream in ways that you would never you know wish you could make your car scream yeah he knows what he's doing with that wheel so it's gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting um but yeah that's pretty much all the exciting shit from formula one also some dude sent me a picture he's like yo lewis is packing <laughs> oh no i uh, you weird shit the yeah game, they do dude. yeah <laughs> well f1 fans are a, a spe- special kind of weird yo check out lewis's package dude yeah yo have you seen uh dana white's head recently <laughs> yeah <laughs> <clears throat> that's why the fucking name of weird dms it's not like some like catchphrase that i came up with i genuinely get odd ass <laughs> dms dude <laughs> You know another odd one I got? Remember a uh, buddy who, the dude who went on that whole campaign about how his girl like fucked Drake on a private plane. Was, it, he, had, he was dating that singer. Yep. He was doing all the acrobatics and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read it, but this person <laughs> sends me these two Reddit threads and they're like, that dude apparently made all that up. What? <clears throat> so maybe they broke up, but she didn't like cheat on him with Drake. And I think he just did it supposedly to blow himself up. Really That's weird. Really weird way to do that. Yeah. To blow up his parkour. Yeah, blow up his parkour <laughs> channel. <laughs> What's up? I'm the guy who got whose girl cheated on him with Drake. And I'm climbing a three hundred foot tower in Russia today. Yeah. Apparently he made that sh- all that shit up. Damn. That's weird. Mm-hmm. What about this milk Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's closing on some milk Olympics. Yeah, man. let's see what we got here. The best new tradition in college athletics. Milk Monday. Milk Monday. 1,000 people in a church parking lot watching milk chugging competitions. <clears throat> they have referees, MCs, in trunks it's like wrestlers, and puke. A lot of puke. The champions get glory. The losers get pushed out on wheelchairs. That's my favorite part, Dan. It's awesome. <laughs> the best new tradition it's in college. It's awesome. It's awesome. I like how they, I like how the the creators of TikTok made sure that the text-to-speech on Monday yeah. was, was appealing to the Midwest. Monday. Milk Monday. Milk Monday. Milk Monday. Yeah. I love me mil- a good Milk Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We used to do Milk Mondays. Yeah. We used to do Milk Monday in the parking lot of this church. <laughs> milk Monday. <laughs> T- 
to y'all, this is a church. To me, this is Milk Monday. <laughs> I went to I went to school here, and I moved back. And uh, you know, I don't know. We got some good days now. We got Fuck It Friday, Milk Monday, Milk Monday, Pegging Thursday. Yeah. Well, no, now it's just it's just pegging and per, per, perpetuous pegging. <laughs> okay. Just forever. <clears throat> I like that. <clears throat> It would, how crazy would it have been if the cover of CLB was just a strap on? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I have to piss so bad. I was trying to think of like a, you know. You know what's crazy about the Milk Monday thing is uh, that's like, you know, the we for a we. Oh, yeah. Everyone gave us a lot of follow up on that too. Those yes. Ra- those radio hosts knew what was going on. What do you mean? Like people were warning them, like, "Yo, someone could die from this," and they're like, "Oh, who gives a shit." Really? Yeah, it was, and it, what it, it was, was hold your was wee hold for your a week. Yeah, yeah. So she died because she was holding her pee. Yeah, and drank too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not funny. It's definitely not funny. That's not funny at all. It's tragic, actually. It's awful. Oh man, it's horrible. You know. It would be really horrible if your bladder fucking exploded right now. Not funny. That was a mother. Okay? Yeah. Not funny. Yeah, no. That's awful. <laughs> no, it is actually it is actually really funny. Do you think her kids hold her bla- hold their bladder? No. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> 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 no way. Who did that? It wasn't me. <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> It'd be funny to go for the laugh track one time. That's a good one, dude. Um, hold on. Um, and it's hitting more. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm trying to end it. I'm trying to turn yeah. it off. Well, rest in peace to Miss Wee for a wee. Yeah, um, that's, I mean, it's sad, but. <laughs> well, guys, it's time to roll into the bonus ep- episode. Let's give them a little flavor of what's coming up in the bonus, man. Well, uh, after the break. Weird uh, horror TikToks, Red Bull plane between tunnel (laughs) ellipsis, Cinderella's horrible. And that's it. So that's all we got. So it's going to be a weird one. (laughs) And that, of course, is on patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, as always. One new bonus episode every week. Yeah. Oh, wait, we forgot. Pastor gets peed on by congregation. Wow. Wow, that should be cool. (laughs) End it on that. And some trivia. (laughs) All right, go we.